<clears throat> Good morning. This is from Psalm 45, verses 15 through 19. But as for me, God will redeem my life. He will snatch me from the power of the grave. So don't be dismayed when the wicked grow rich and their homes become ever more splendid. For when they die, they take nothing with them. Their wealth will not follow them into the grave. In this life, they consider themselves fortunate and are applauded for their successes. But they will die like all before them and never again see the light of day. In this passage brings to mind how in the news it seems like you know, every other week you'll see some disgraced celebrity's home go on sale for some unconscionable price tag. There's Lori Laughlin. You know, remember Full House years ago, Lori Laughlin, and Massimo Giannulli, the designer. They put theirs on the market for $28 million so they could pay their attorney's fees for the USC admission scandal when they bought off their children's admission to USC. Um, Ellen De DeGeneres put her mansion on sale for $33 million earlier this year as the news of her toxic, sexually abusive workplace were being revealed. Um, Johnny Depp, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean, um, Johnny Depp put his Kentucky horse farm on the market for the bargain price of $2 million. Following claims of his physical abuse of his girlfriend, Amber Heard. You know, it can be difficult to keep things in perspective when we see those who are wicked prosper. And really, the church is not immune from this. We see this in the church, too. Uh, we watch as Kenneth Copeland adds a third jet to his private fleet, and Joel Osteen dropped down $10.5 million for his Houston home. But this is what we must keep in mind. We have to keep this in perspective. This is not my destination. This is just the stopover. That's all it is. My destination is heaven, where my dwelling place has already been bought by Jesus' blood. Their mansions may be worth millions, but mine is priceless. And if I get too focused on having an expansive place here, all I'm doing is making my stopover more beautiful. When really I'm not going to be here that long. We've got to keep in mind, this is not our destination. Pray with me. God, I thank you for the promise of a home in heaven forever with you. And Lord, in heaven, even if I'm in a shack, it's not going to matter because I'm going to be in a place where your glory radiates for all time. Lord, I'm not going to care that the streets are made of gold and the walls made of jasper and diamond because it won't matter. The only thing that will matter is being in your presence. So Lord, help us not to become consumed with the material things of this life. Help us to become consumed with your glory. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, friends. Have a good day.